Good morning. Hello. Blessed be, blessed Beltane. This is uh, Mark A. Lyon saying hello. May 2nd. Here we go. Uh, yesterday was Beltane. Uh, that's why I call it this Beltane birthday and birthing the new. It uh, Yesterday was drawing the Circle Productions 20th anniversary, 20th birthday of business. Uh, I've I've vlogged about it. I posted about it. It's all over the place. Uh, go check out um, the Drawing the Circle Productions Facebook page or my personal page, and you can watch the vlog. Made a new welcome video because we've got a lot of new stuff coming down the pike. So that was that. Uh, yesterday was also the Silver Broom Ministries' thirteenth birthday. I might have said twelve. It was the twelfth somewhere because you know math and whatnot. I've been very busy. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's 13. We did the math. <laughs> Amy corrected it. I changed it. So that's a done deal. Um, yesterday, while I was waiting for our Drawing the Circle website, Drawing the Circle at uh, drawingthecircle.com to update, uh, I went and did some plant shopping. I went to um, Conic River Herb Farm, got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, since I've moved into my new home, I've been really conscientious of uh, really making sure the outside looks good while the inside is just boxes and chaos everywhere while the home renovations go underway. But I got a lot of planting done. And if you follow me on Instagram, there are some pictures up there. So many more to come. I bought violets and periwinkles and oh, my lilac bushes are planted and I got marigolds. And, you know, I go by Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. So I spent... <laughs> <laughs> Beltane, the first day of the season of fertility, planting. Uh, couldn't get more literal or symbolic for that one, as well as I buried my uh, four Ostara eggs uh, from Ostara. I buried them on the property for all sorts of different magic. So, you know, if I got a copy of Cunningham's and some magic and stones and crystals, I'm going to plant them. <laughs> Make them work. Earth sign, Virgo. So today I'm uh, resting a little bit. I have to go food shopping at some point, which I'll probably do after this. Uh, some errand running. Uh, tonight we've got Soul Retrieval with Alice Agostini at 7 o'clock, and I am doing, I think it's class number three of Magic Miracles and Mysticism, which is part two of the chakra stuff. It's the Tree of Life and the Sabbaths, how the chakras connect to the Kabbalistic Tree of Life and the Eight Sabbaths of the Wheel of the Year. I'm looking forward to that very much. Uh, but for the moment, I'm like a little sleepy, 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 sleepy. There's been a lot of work. Um, the website is beyond my control at this point. The webmasters are doing their best. Uh, okay, I just got a alert for something. Does not say what that's for. <laughs> so it's not that I'm over it. I'm just a little tired. And there's so much work to be done. Uh, the new subscription program that we have up on the website is all ready to go. I'm just waiting for the website to update, so I will post that. So y'all can subscribe to the website uh, on a monthly basis and get all sorts of cool content. There are three different levels of subscription. Uh, I think we call it basic, medium, and premium. So you can check all that out once that's up. And you know me, once something's working, I put it out there. I put it out there big time. So um, I guess that's about it. Uh, wishing you all a blessed Beltane. You know, Beltane isn't just one day. It is a season. Oh, and on Saturday, I'm speaking at Beltane in the Park uh, at the UU in Huntington. Uh, 3 p.m. I go on, but it starts at 10 a.m., so I'm going to get there early and, like, vend and you know look around and shop and see people that I haven't seen in a long time. Jackie Beltane's going to be there. That's one of the, the motivating forces for me to go there. I haven't seen her in so long. She's coming up from Alabama. Uh, she started it all ooh, 20 plus years ago, so it'll be really, really good to throw my arms around her and give her a big hug, as well as there are a lot of people I haven't seen in the pagan community. You know, talk about birthing the new. Now that uh, the Silver Broom Ministries is 13 years old, it it really, she can walk on her own. She doesn't need me there for absolutely everything 24-7. So uh, <clears throat> I'm hoping to get out into the pagan community a little bit more and teach and read and just do what I do. Um just like having a 13-year-old, not that I know personally. I've never raised a kid in this life, at least. But, you know, 13, they take on their own independence. So, uh, you know, we got her to this point. Amy is a wonderful mother to her. Uh, the coven is really stepping up and taking care of um, not just the coven, but the Silver Broom Ministries. We've got a coven. Good morning, Linda. Blessed Beltane. 
um, you know, the, the, the coven is 23 years old, um, but the ministry is 13. So she really needed our help. She really needed our, you know, like a baby. We had to get her into her teens. Uh, but drawing the circle, he's 20 years old. He's ready to try some shit out. He's ready to stretch his legs. I guess he would be in college. Yeah. <clears throat> or maybe just getting out of college. I don't remember. Um, so I really want to drive him around. I want to get him out there so he can see the world and, and stretch his legs and his wings. Um, but now also that that's the case, I'm freed up to kind of go and interact with the pagan community of Long Island and New York a little bit more. I really would like to travel more this year. I've been going out to the Hamptons to teach uh, private classes. So I'm, I'm just looking to get, now that I've got my house is, well, kind of sort of settling down, kind of want to get out there. Um, I want to go into Brooklyn. I have a new friend in Brooklyn that I want to go see. And, and, you know, Manhattan has just been such a distant place for so long. Hi, Judy. I love you, too. Ah. <coughs> and thank God for RuPaul's Drag Race. It's been keeping my... Uh, come to Cali, honey. If you get me a place to stay and enough people signed up... This is really anywhere. You get me a place to stay that's not going to cost more than the money I make to, to when I'm there... I would love to come and teach. I have so many friends in California that I could go see just to give them a hug and, you know, look them in the eyes. That would that would be so great. But I'll go anywhere. Siam, Syasset, I don't care. Um, <laughs> as long as it's not a no-fly zone, I'm good to go. My broom does not handle no-fly zones. Um, yeah, but I like hopping in the car and driving. You know, I used to go to Gene's Place in New Jersey every other month or so. That was so much fun. It got me off the beaten path. <clears throat> but now Jean's up in Maine, and oh, I would love to go see Jean. Oh, Jean, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. So, you know, uh, the most important thing that I can do as an event planner on a spiritual path is to stay in the present moment, to allow the relationships to ebb and flow into my life, both personally and professionally, and just do the best that I can. Um, the serenity prayer throughout this life, even though I was never in a 12-step program, the serenity prayer has really helped. Here's my version. Oh, good God, goddess, all that is, Zeus, Buddha, Jesus, Zan, Jaina, Shaggy, Scooby, Fred, Wilma, whoever the fuck is listening, grant me the serenity to accept this crazy shit I cannot change. Right? Like, serenity that I need to just accept and allow, and the courage to change the things I can, which is what I'm feeling, and what I'm seeing, and what I'm thinking, and how I'm looking at it. Like, that is within my power to change. So, though I am reclining at the moment... I will rally, I'll boot and rally, get my shit together, take it on the road, and see what happens next. And I promise you, I'm going to give my best at Beltane in the Park. I'm talking about witch's intuition. <laughs> it's a 45-minute workshop. Girl, I could talk about that shit all day long. In fact, I do. Um, so it'll be, it'll be good, and I'll look good. And I'm going to see if I can tape it. Um, I'll talk to Melissa and see if I can uh, bring in a camera and record that just for fun, even if we just Facebook Live it. We'll see. So have a really, really great day, everybody. Blessed Beltane, blessed be. Happy birthday, join the circle. Happy birthday, Silver Broom Ministries. I'm looking forward to what happens next. And that's been my new hashtag, keyword, whatever. Looking forward. Let's look forward. And I love you, Liz, and I miss you. Come visit. I miss my Liz. I love miss my Liz Valentine. And really, once I get my energy back up and running after this flurry of creative activity... Uh, hopefully I will be Facebooking, Facebook living more and posting it elsewhere. All right. Go check out my YouTube channel. Go like and subscribe. I'm trying to drive up my subscription number so people see it more. Uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you for the congratulations. And go check me out on Vimeo. And as soon as the subscription stuff and the website is finished updating, I'll have it up there for you. All right. I love you, love you, love you, love you. I'll see you in three weeks. Oh, come visit, come visit, come visit. I'm 10 minutes away from the Ronkonkoma train station now, so I can come pick you up. Easy peasy, eggs and cheesy. All right, people, have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. I love you. I Here's you. you, you where's the camera? You, 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 you squish your head. I you squish your head. I you squish, you squish, you squish your head. I love you all. Hail, farewell, and blessed be, blessed Beltane, blessed birthday, ciao. Uh,